Hey guys, what's up? It's me, LEGO Leaf 3 Changan here, and today we have a new LEGO Star Wars set review for you guys. This is the Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack. This set retails for about 15 US dollars, and here's a look at your box. Like most battle packs these days, you get four minifigures and a small build. Now normally, I take a closer look at the minifigures first, but I want to get that build out of the way here real quick. I'm gonna tell you the three things I like about this build here real quick. The color is actually very cool, this kind of azure electric blue that we saw in the Lugga Beast last year. A more rare color and it's nice to get a good amount of pieces in a small set in that color. These engines actually look kinda of cool, that's a pretty neat design. And I really like the guns back here attached on by the Friends handlebar piece. You can actually rotate these around to kinda of shoot in different directions, so that's pretty neat. Otherwise, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, guys. This speeder bike sucks. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a battle pack. This is not really what you buy the set for, but LEGO has done some pretty cool small builds and battle packs. This is not one of them. This thing is hideous. It's a hodgepodge of designs. Just look at all the shapes here. It just doesn't flow together at all. Up here looks disgusting. That's the handlebar you get on this set. That's how they control the speeder bike. It's one of those pieces. I mean, what the heck? You can put one, yes, one minifigure on this speeder bike. You get four in the set, you can fit one. Now, technically, I guess you could stand a figure on the side like this, but that just looks really awkward, so I'm not going to do that. The middle here, it's so thick. It's like two bricks thick. It's super chunky, especially at the back. Look at this. What is this? This is disgusting. This is a terrible looking speeder bike. That's the engine you get. You get a backpack right there. Oh man, this speeder bike is real bad. Okay, I'm really glad I got that speeder bike out of the way because that thing was just holding this set back. Now we can look at what you actually buy the set for and that's the minifigures. The first one here is Bosk, my personal favorite bounty hunter from the Empire Strikes Back. And this figure's awesome. He's using kind of the lighter yellow piece color from Friends, which is really cool. He has feet printing that is so awesome. I love the printing all around his torso and his legs. That head mold's been around since 2010, but it looks perfect. His back printing is great as well. It's just so awesome to get a new update of Bosk with such a cheap, small set. Our second minifigure here is IG-88. And this guy has only ever come in big sets, it seems, because I've actually never gotten an IG-88 minifigure personally. So I'm really excited to get him in this set right here. His head is kind of too huge, like it's awkwardly too large, but I'm not sure how they would make that without making a new piece, so I think it works out pretty well. Besides that, he's pretty much just battle droid pieces molded in dark gray, but that's fine. He has a cool blaster on his back, a really nice minifigure to get in a, such a small set. Okay, the next two minifigures in this set are going to incorporate a little rant here. This one here is Dengar. Now, this is not a bad figure. On the contrary, it's actually a fantastic looking minifigure. His back printing is great behind that cool backpack piece, and I love his face. So, awesome minifigure. He also came in a $30 set, the Eclipse Fighter, last year. And that the only reason I really bought that set was to get Dengar. And then a year later, he comes in a $15 set. So, I feel like I bought that set for pretty much nothing. So, that kind of ticks me off, but... The main problem with this Dengar minifigure is actually kind of a problem with the next minifigure. And that next minifigure here is Forlom. This is the first time we've ever gotten Forlom in a LEGO set before. His printing on the gunmetal gray torso and legs look spectacular. And then that head mold. Oh my gosh, that is a perfect head mold. The printing for the bug eyes looks so cool. The back printing and the molding on the back of the head, all of that looks incredible. I'm so glad we finally got this particular character in LEGO form. It's a figure I've been asking for for years. And we don't get Zuckus in this set. Forlom and Zuckus to me go hand in hand. And we do not get a Zuckus minifigure in this set. And we did get Dengar. And Dengar came in a pretty cheap set last year. So it lessens the value of the Eclipse Fighter. It kind of lessens the value of this set because we get a figure that came in a set that wasn't too much money from last year. And we could have had a brand new Zuckus minifigure who's never been made in LEGO before like Forlom. And that would have completed all of the bounty hunters because we already had Boba Fett, of course. We already had Dengar. This set would have had all four of the other bounty hunters. We'd have the complete collection. And that would have been amazing. But we didn't get Zuckus. Instead, we got Dengar, and that just ticks me off. As a critic of LEGO sets, I cannot sit here and tell you that this is a good set. 
because frankly, it just isn't. The build sucks, and you get Dengar in place of Zuckus. So there are just some major issues with this set. However, I would still recommend you buy this set because $15 is not a lot of money, and it's a great way to get Bosk and IG-88, and it's the only way to get Forlom, which to me is an absolute must-have Lego figure. So this is a bad set that I'm recommending. Very strange, but obviously it's a battle pack, and no one really cares much about the build, but it is going to reflect in my rating. This set's going to get a 5.7 out of 10. Those are just my thoughts, so I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also guys, don't forget to like this video, share the video, share it with all your friends. Also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. All of those links are down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for my LEGO Star Wars set reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.